Hello, I'm Laura and I'm from How to Cook Good Food. I've got a website and I also teach cookery. Today I'm going to show you a recipe that I make quite a lot and it's a very cheap, easy tomato sauce. And here are the ingredients. So first of all, we've got garlic, one clove of chopped garlic, one packet of chopped tomatoes, um, a couple of tablespoons of oil, a teaspoon of sugar and a pinch of salt. So I'm just going to show you how I make how I make the sauce and then I'm going to put it on to cook and it should be ready in about 15 minutes. So first thing to do is to get the oil into the pan. So I'm just going to put it in now. Then I'm going to turn the heat on to get it warm while I cook the garlic. While that heat oil is heating up, I'm just going to chop up the garlic and then I'm going to put it into the pan. And I'm going to let that fry for a minute or two until it begins to turn golden brown. When it's golden brown, next thing to do is to add in the tomatoes. Um, and as well as the tomatoes, add in the sugar and the salt. Bring it up to a boil. Then once it's boiling, turn it down to a simmer and simmer the sauce for 15 minutes and then it's ready. And that's all you need for a tomato sauce. I'm just going to check the garlic now. Let that cook for a bit more. And then what I'll probably do is use this tomato sauce for, well, either or. You can use it for pasta, pasta sauce, or I also use it for pizza toppings. Um, it's good for pasta bakes. It's also really good if you have any leftovers to just add into soups and stews. Um, it's just a really nice, quick, cheap, easy sauce to make and it tastes a lot nicer than the sauces that you buy in jars. So now the garlic's browning, so I'm just going to add in the tomatoes and give them a stir and let that come up to a, a boil before I turn it back down. I just use the basics tomatoes because I find for sauces they're fine and they're really cheap, they only cost about 35p. So they're quite a good basic ingredient to have. Now I'm just using ordinary uh, caster sugar. Um, a level teaspoon, no more than that, so that goes in. And then a nice big pinch of salt. Then I'm going to bring that back up to the boil. And next I'm just going to turn it down and let it cook. It's quite a good idea as well when the sauce is cooking, if you put uh, a lid to half cover it. Otherwise the sauce tends to spit out of the sides and it causes a big mess. So what I'm going to do is just cover the pan up. Now the tomatoes are boiling, I'm just going to turn it to simmer and then put the lid on halfway and let that cook for 15 minutes. I'm just going to let that sauce cook away and then I'll show you what the sauce looks like once it's cooked. It should reduce down so some of the water evaporates off and it makes a nice rich tomato sauce. Um, another thing you can do is you can add in chopped basil at the end to make a tomato basil sauce. Um, another thing you could add in would be torn up mozzarella, so you've got tomato and mozzarella basil sauce. Um, you could add in capers and olives to make it more, more of a strong sauce, maybe a bit of chilli as well. So these are all things that I would add in at the end once the sauce is cooked. Another thing you could add in would be um, some leftover cooked chicken, or if you wanted a more seafoody sauce then I would tip in a tin of tuna in olive oil, but I would drain off the oil and then add in the tuna, maybe some capers at the end to the tomato sauce. Um, that one is nice with penne pasta, or it's also good with spaghetti. Um, I guess you could also add in, at the start, you could add in some pancetta to make a bacon sauce, or again, if you had any leftover bits of ham 
or cooked bacon, you could throw them in at the end to make it more of a meat sauce. So I'll come back to the sauce once it's cooked and show you what it looks like. This is the sauce. It's been cooking for 15 minutes now and it's done. All the water has been evaporated so it's made a nice thick rich tomato sauce. And that's ready to go with your pasta or to spread on top of a pizza. And that's all it takes. So that's finished. Very quick, easy sauce.